a crane used in the I-4 Ultimate Construction Project fell over Wednesday morning, closing an on-ramp to State Road 408 in downtown Orlando but not injuring anyone. The on-ramp from Division Avenue to SR 408 westbound is closed, though officials said they hope to have it open by afternoon rush hour. SR.408 is still open. Workers do not yet know when they can remove the crane, said Russ Handler, a spokesman for SGL Constructors, the company working on the I-4 Ultimate project. But they plan on disconnecting a boom blocking the on-ramp from the rest of the crane Wednesday morning and afternoon so that traffic can flow again. The crane will stay in place until engineers devise a plan to remove it safely, which likely will require closing Division Avenue to get equipment to the scene, Handler said. There is no timeline set for that removal. This is one of those situations where we don't want to rush into things, Handler said. The crane's operator was moving it into place to prepare for lifting support beams when it tipped onto an on-ramp about 5.15 a.m., Handler said. The crane's operator was pulled out of the control cab, Handler said. He was taken to the hospital as a precautionary measure, Handler said. He seemed to be in good shape, a little shaken up obviously. Officials do not know yet why the crane tipped, Handler said. The crane damaged a power line but did not injure anyone, said Steve Olson, a spokesman for the Florida Department of Transportation. This is a breaking news story. Please check back for more details. Gladden at OrlandoSentinel.com or 407-420-5774 Interactive map, every homicide in Central Florida. A Leesburg police officer stopped a bicyclist for not having a working tail light. Police said the bicyclist fired a shot at the officer. A Leesburg police officer stopped a bicyclist for not having a working tail light. Police said the bicyclist fired a shot at the officer. A Leesburg police officer stopped a bicyclist for not having a working tail light. Police said the bicyclist fired a shot at the officer. A Leesburg police officer stopped a bicyclist for not having a working tail light. Police said the bicyclist fired a shot at the officer. Christopher Miller and his brother, Lavon Shin, are each charged with two counts of second-degree murder related to a April 16, 2016 shooting that left two dead and four injured. Christopher Miller and his brother, Lavon Shin, are each charged with two counts of second-degree murder related to a April 16, 2016 shooting that left two dead and four injured. Orlando police are searching for the suspect who robbed and shot a man at a Super 8 hotel near Universal. Anyone with information is asked to call Crimaline at 1-8900-423-8477. Orlando police are searching for the suspect who robbed and shot a man at a Super 8 hotel near Universal. Anyone with information is asked to call Crimaline at 1-8900-423-8477. U.S. attorneys say the German man traveled to Orlando to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. U.S. attorneys say the German man traveled to Orlando to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Patrick Munoz, 18, was arrested after authorities began investigating the self-proclaimed biggest drug dealer at UCF in November.